Can we play now? Yeah. <laughs> Can we play? I like playing. <laughs> Auntie Aileen, she's a miracle, really, because before lockdown, she had so many classes Monday to Friday. She had one every single day. So she wanted to keep active. You know, she was losing fitness, I was losing fitness. Me and Aileen said, well, we'll form a bubble. Aileen, when I was little, used to take me on holiday with her husband and we, oh, we always played ping pong. Hey, we're not doing too badly, Adele, are we? Yeah. On a little table. <laughs> During the pandemic, my partner had two life-threatening strokes and he almost passed away twice in a week. And due to the restrictions, I couldn't visit him. So that was absolutely heartbreaking. And at the time that he'd had the strokes, there was no support bubble I needed just to know that there was somebody at the end of the phone. Not a counselling service, but just that need to know that somebody's there. Oldham Hub referred me to the British Red Cross and the first phone call was from Nazia. When I initially met Adele, she had no self-belief and she was low in confidence. She was referred to us by a early help team to reduce isolation and reconnect her. Hello. Hello. How, are you doing? How are you? Lovely, Lovely to, you. to, you Lovely to well. meet you. That first phone call was wonderful. Nazia, she, she was so warm and welcoming and we hit it off straight away. So as we're going along the pandemic, Nazia would think, oh, do you like sporty things? I said, well, yes. So she said, well, I'll send you a ping pong ball and a ping pong bat. Aileen's face lit up when this pack arrived with this ping pong ball and it's something so simple, but it just gave that little bit of a lift. Well, a lot of a lift because we have, we have such a laugh when we play ping pong. Got a little surprise for you. Oh, a surprise? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Nazia. Oh, it's a video. Hi, Aileen and Adele. It's Liam Pitchford here, UK table tennis number one. Um, I just wanted to take some time out of my training for the Tokyo Olympics later in the year to say, um, you know, I was really happy to hear that you, you've taken up table tennis during lockdown and that you're really enjoying it. It's been a bit of a saving grace uh, again for me and um, I'm glad to hear it is for you as well. Um, and I hope you can continue to to carry it on and, and keep enjoying playing. Um, I think it's a, it's a great sport to be able to keep fit and also um, to to keep the mind active and uh, and healthy as well. So um, keep up the good work. And if I'm in Oldham one day, I'll definitely come and challenge you to a game. Oh. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh that's wonderful. Isn't that lovely? Yes. And guess, oh. guess who will win if he comes? <laughs> You will, won't you? Oh, yeah, I will, because I'm better than you. <laughs> this is, we always do this. <laughs> oh, yes. We're very oh. competitive, aren't we? Guess who will win. Oh. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> do you know what this reminds me of? The one show when they, when they surprise people with a little video from the celebrities. <laughs> can't believe that. I can't believe you've done that. Absolutely brilliant, that. <laughs> I think it's been an amazing journey for them both. To see both of them, I think, flourish. I think Adele has certainly really, really developed into somebody who believes in herself. And to be able to reconnect them both um, in the pandemic has been invaluable. Ooh, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> We're not scoring, are we? Never mind.